Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how you can track a value over time based on two different dates. For example, assume that this was your information, that you had a start date, a completion schedule, how long a task would take, and then when a task was actually completed. What I want to show is that the number of hours grows as the dates um, come due. So example, on the 25th, 16 hours are behind schedule. On the 26th, 16 plus 16 are behind schedule. And so on. And then as the completion dates are achieved, as tasks are completed, that that time is taken off. And so that is what I'm hoping to reflect. So you can see there on the second to the bottom there is a drop down and that is because on February the 15th there was a task that was completed so those hours are no longer behind schedule. The problem is the Tableau when you do calculations you can only reference the single row. So for completion you could say is it completed? Is there an actual completion date? Yes or no. And so you can't necessarily do hours. You can't calculate a value based on a uh, timeline. What you need is an independent timeline. And that way you can compare the schedule dates to the independent timeline and the completed dates to the independent timeline. And here's what it would look like. So you would have in the green, you'd have the hours behind schedule. So you can see that hours would grow and continue to grow. And then you would subtract the hours for completed tasks. And then that would give you the value in blue, which is the hours that are truly behind schedule. And let me show you how this will be done. All right, so here is the data in Tableau maybe the different titles, but you've got a start date, a com estimated completion date, the hours, and then when the task was actually completed. Come over here to sheet one. What we're going to need to do is we're going to add additional data sources. Add a new data source, an Excel file. This is where the files, the information is located. Off to the left here is sheet three. And sheet three has a list of all the dates. You'll see it's got a date for all the, every date in 2008 is listed here. And we go back to sheet one again. And now, we, so we've got an independent date. We've got, um, let's, let's link this up. So we're gonna actually make, yep, this, we want this to be the primary, and then we're gonna have this link in. We're gonna do custom add. We want this to be the estimate at completion date. So we've got the independent date line. We're bringing in the schedule date. Click OK. Click OK. And I'm going to rename this one because something else is going to happen next. I'm going to rename this one ECD for estimate estimated completion date. Okay. Now I'm going to come up here, I need to get the completed date in. So I'm going to also, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to add again, where is it, the behind schedule. Now I'm going to go to sheet one again, down here, you can see behind schedule book one, I'm going to rename that behind schedule, because that's the worksheet tab just to help me. And I'm going to come up back here under data, edit relationships, and we're going to sheet one is going to be sheet three, that's the independent timeline, and then completed, we're going to do custom, add, and we want this to be, yep, the completed date, click OK. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to calculate, let's, let's just bring this over, 
Oh, let's see here. I thought I had it. We're going to bring over the graph date under rows. We want to show every date. Change that to discrete. And then we want to, we're going to do the ECDs. I changed my mind. Okay, so we want to show that it's linked. And now we want to bring over the time. Drop that in here. So here's the dates. So this was, we actually want a running total. Oops. And so this will show us the number of dates, hours that are complete, that are actually are behind schedule. And actually, let's just pull over so you can see. And bring the till tip over. So we don't want to show this date is actually completed because if you look, the completed date is January 5th and the scheduled completion date was January 6th. So that's not actually behind schedule. So let's create a, well I've got this one highlighted. We're going to create a calculated field. We're going to say true behind schedule. And then we're going to say if the if the completed date the completed date is before or equal to the scheduled date and just pull and drag sorry I should blow this up for you then we're going to just say null okay otherwise we're going to have it be the time. And I'm pulling the time over. And, okay. And so let me pull that over. And so now we can see, okay, we shouldn't have any dates. We shouldn't have any that are late until the 25th. because we have a task that is scheduled to be complete and it's not complete yet. So we'll just pull this one off. Now we're going to oops, get rid of that. Just need to pull it down, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to come up to the completed. We're going to make sure that it's linked by clicking this little chain. And we're going to create a similar thing, a similar calculation except this time it's going to be completed dates, completed hours. So we're going to say if you can see completed date is greater than the planned date, no, um, the ECD, then we want to show that these are minus time because we're going to actually this is going to be a negative calculation because we're going to subtract them actually or then uh, else null and actually we'll just get rid of that hit OK so now we have completed hours and we have true behind schedule now we're going to come to sheet one. Well, actually, let's just plot this. Now you can see. Oops, let me change that. Okay, we've got everything plotted. Let's go ahead and put in some tool tips to help us understand what's happening. Let me get rid of that one. We're going to first come here for the ECD. We're going to bring in the ECD that's linked on the ECD and the completion date. And then for the completed one, we're also going to bring over the ECD and the completed date. And because I've gone in there previously, I need to add some things. So we're going to put in the behind schedule ECD. <music>here you can see that we have a, a date that task should have been completed it wasn't so that's under the truly behind 
schedule. The next one is we have an item that should have been done on the 26th. It's not. Um, we also have one here that's done on the 27th. This one here, there's two things that are happening. One was should have been done on the 29th, but wasn't. But we also have one here that was done on the 20, should have been done on the 27th that was just completed this January 29th. And so that's what you're seeing here is that one that should have been done on the 29th and now it's done on the 30th. So now what we want to do is we're going to come up here under the data sources and we're going to create a calculated field under this book three. And this is going to be our plot hours. Basically, we're going to say take, uh, we want the running total, because we want to show the sum of the true behind hour, or behind hours true. And we want it to subtract from it those hours that are completed. So sum, sorry, I should have blown this up. And this is going to be completed hours. Looking through here, oh, here's the problem. We've got a sum sum, so we need to get rid of that. Yeah, it looks like we may have, yep, we have something similar here. Okay. Syntax, oops. Too many. All right. So it's saying, okay, take the sum of the behind, or this one's the completed hours. We're taking a rolling running total. And then we're going to plot that, drop, bring it over to the measures column. And this is what we want to have see happen. Hours going up and down based on tasks that are being completed. See, this is one that was should have been done back in January. It's now February 15th. We want it to uh, back out of the hours behind schedule. Now, the thing that's a little bit weird about this is this is showing as a bunch of zeros all the way. So what we're going to do, and that's because the formulas are taking null and null, what we'll do is we will change behind schedule. So come up here on the left under data, under ECDs, and we're going to come down here to true behind schedule. We're going to edit that formula, and instead of null, we're going to use zero. That didn't work like I was thinking. Let's try under completed. I tried this once before, and it has to do with the formulas. There we go. The completed hours, and now we've got the values. And so we'll pull off the measures so that we have just the plotted hours. We'll duplicate this. And then we're going to come over here under show me in the upper right hand corner. We're going to just grab a line chart. And there you go. This is what we would expect to see is as tasks come behind, we miss a scheduled date. We end up with hours. As tasks are completed, the hours behind schedule come down. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had this helped. Feel free to leave comments, drop me a line, and we'll talk to you later.